Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I wanted to do a story time about, as you guys can tell from the title, the time I took a pregnancy test without me knowing this. So this happened about, um, well, when I was about 14, 15. I think about 15 years old, I was in 10th grade. So I've always been a naturally, well, a naturally healthy person I was never one of those kids that ever got sick or had to stay home from school so that always made me upset like especially when like flu season came around or like everyone had a cold like I'd be the only person left in the classroom because everyone would be at home because they were sick and my behind would just be in class just all healthy and whatnot and I used to always hate that but then one day I got lucky well, I, guess, I don't know why I would say lucky, but one day I finally got sick. And because it's so rare for me to get sick, like it kind of took my mom by surprise. So what happened was, I don't know how, but I guess I had caught the flu or something from someone at school. So I was sick all day at school. And then when I got home, I was still sick. But like, because I never get sick, I just like shrugged it off and thought that, okay, it's just going to pass. So that night I was... I had a fever, I had chills, and I even got up a couple times to throw up. And I remember at one point I got up and after I threw up, I went to just lay in the bed with my mom. And I was also having problems breathing, like I was doing like a wheezy kind of breath. So that was scaring my mom and she wanted to take me to the emergency room. But I was like, no, no, like I don't want to go to the doctor. Like it'll be fine. I'm fine. And she kept looking at me weird, but I thought it was only because like she wasn't used to seeing me sick so she was kind of worried as parents are so anyways so the night passed and then the next day i still went to school because like with my parents they're old immigrant parents so they're just like if you're not dying you gotta go to school you gotta go to school you gotta go to class like you're not about to stay home so even though i was sick like my mom, my mom was just like go to school and if you don't feel well then call me and i'll come pick you up so I went to school, I made it through like the first two periods and then I was just like, nah, I gotta go home. So my mom came to pick me up before lunch. So, oh, excuse me. So my mom came to pick me up and stuff and then she had called the doctor to make an appointment for me for the next day or like a couple of days later. So I go home and really all I did all day was just sleep. Like I didn't want to eat, I didn't want to do anything, I just wanted to sleep. And I remember at one point my mom came in my room. Mind you, my mom is a Haitian immigrant. So anybody who knows like third world immigrants and especially Haitians, like they have a remedy for everything. Like they just have these weird things that they do. So I remember at one point she came into my room and then she's just like, oh, come to the bathroom. And I was like, okay, sure, whatever. So she gives me a cup and she's like, hey, here, pee in the cup. And I was just like, what? Like, why do I have to pee in a cup? She's just like, oh, like it's this old Haitian thing. Like if you pee in the cup, we do something with it and then we can see like if you're sick or what we can give you and stuff. So me be knowing my culture i'm just like i'm not gonna question it you want me to pee in the cup i'm gonna pee in the cup mind you i'm 15 never been sexually active wasn't thinking about it like i was saving myself for marriage so i, I didn't think anything about it so i peed in her cup for her and then she went about her business and then like i just went back to bed fast forward we're at the doctor's office so we go to the doctor the doc doctor is checking me up and stuff like that just like trying to make sure that everything is okay or trying to see what's wrong or whatever and then you know because i was 15 so my mom was in there with me so the doctor finishes do doing her checkups and she's asking me questions as they normally do and we get to the question of are you sexually active i said no i'm still a virgin and then she's like okay uh well no hold on hold on she was just she asked me am i sexually active i said no and then she asked if i was pregnant and i said no i'm not, i'm a virgin yeah that's how it went so she asked if i was sexually active i said no she said do i think that i might be pregnant i said no i'm a virgin and then but before i even finished my sentence I was just like, no. And then my mom started laughing. She's like, oh, no, 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 no. And then so the doctor turns and looks at her and she's just like, how, how do you know that she's not like pregnant or whatever? And then um, my mom's like, oh, because I tested her. I was like, bruh, what? What? How? 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 
how I'm supposed to. Like, you know, I was so at a loss for words. And I remember, like, as she, was, she said this, like, my eyes started to burn. Like, and I got a lump in my throat because I wanted to cry so bad because I was just like, like, oh, who does that? Like, I think I was more embarrassed than anything being in there with her because I was just like, when did this happen? How did this happen? Why did this happen? Like, why would you think I'm, I could even be sexually active enough to even give me a pregnancy test? Like, I swear to you guys, if any, like, anyone who knew me from childhood will tell you that I had no life. Like, I was, I was never one of those teenagers that got to go out and got to party and stuff. Like, it was school, take care of my sisters, and maybe try out for a sport or two if my mom was feeling nice. And she'd be like, okay, you can try out for the sport, you can play the sport. But she knew exactly when it ended and she knew exactly what time I had to be home. I didn't go out on weekends, I didn't go out on holidays, I stayed my butt at home all the time. So I was like, how, how was I supposed to have enough time to do any of the stuff for you to give me a pregnancy test? But like, that's how old-fashioned my mom was. Like She was just so strict and just, no, that's not even old-fashioned. That's how crazy my mom is to give a 15 year old that had no social life a pregnancy test. So she's like still talking to the doctor and stuff. And like, you know how like in the Peanuts, um, Charlie Brown thing where like, whenever adults are talking, all you hear is wah, 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 wah. That's all I heard from that point. All I heard was her and my mom just wah, 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 wah. Like, and in my head I'm like, Lord, Jim, don't cry in front of these people. Don't cry, be a G, be a G. But in my head I was just like, trying to put two and two together and then it, it like a light bulb went off and I was like the time she made me pee in that cup that was not no Haitian remedy thing that was nothing like she made me pee in the cup so she could take my pee sample and put a test in it to see if I was pregnant yo you got, guys I was so embarrassed I was so disappointed in my mother because like I remember like I was like an avid church goer and I was a very goody goody two shoes like legit goody two shoes girl like I was like I made promise to my mom to my mom and to God that I'm gonna stay a virgin until I was married blah 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 so like for her to give me that test it was kind of like do you not trust me do you think I'm just some harlot going outside just trying to bang 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 everybody and the first time I get sick you decide to give me a pregnancy test like that that's what we do we give pregnancy tests for flus. Like, that's what we do. Like, you guys, oh. Even to this day, I still get mad about it. And I remember I told my mom about it the other day. And she's just like, oh, I didn't do that. I didn't. I was like, mom, I swear you did that. And the whole time, like, you know when they do stuff and they try to lie about it, but you can see it in their faces. And she's just like, oh, no, you're remembering something else. I'm like, what else can I remember? At 15 years old, like, that traumatizes you. And it's just. I don't even remember the rest of that hospital visit, but I remember after that, like, we were in the car, and I was like, I can't believe you, I can't believe this, my promise about virginity is no longer for you, it's just for me and God, because you didn't even trust me enough to ask me, like, you just went behind my back to give me a test, like, I was just, I was so upset with her, like, I... I've forgiven her, of course, but I was just like, yo, like, what kind of mom does that? Like, you have to be a special kind of crazy to do something like that. But, yeah, so that was the time I got tested for pregnancy. <laughs> yeah, that's the time I got a pregnancy test at 15 years old without me even knowing it. Thanks, mom. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I have a couple more coming up, and I'll try to get these videos out more frequently. And yeah, so until next time, happy holidays. Bye, guys.